Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new RST Track Tech Evo 4 leather jacket. We are currently offering the TrackTech Evo 4 for $322 on the website. Please understand we don't update videos or pricing, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. So like all the rest of the RST stuff, tremendous value, kick-ass product. That is the theme behind this brand. You will not find another brand in the sport bike industry that delivers the same level of quality and value at the prices they do bar none. If you're looking for bang for the buck, RST 100% gets you there. Let's talk sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 200 pounds on the money, 33 inch waist. Right now I'm wearing a size 44 US, 54 Euro. Getting a really good, comfortable fit right out of the gate from this coat. Plenty of mobility. This coat can be used standalone, obviously, or you can pair it up with the Track Tech Evo 4 leather pants. Have yourself a nice two-piece riding suit. A lot of people have actually been asking us, hey, where's the two-piece suits from RST? Well, here you go. You partner this up with the appropriately sized pair of pants, and you are good to go. Features and benefits. This is all race-level weight cowhide, CE Level 1 armor in the elbow forearm, shoulder, integrated exterior shoulder slider, works in conjunction with that shoulder armor to bolster protection in that area from impact and abrasion. This comes complete with a CE Level 1 certified back protector insert installed in the coat, so this is a complete package. The jacket also features a removable quilted vest liner. Said liner has a zippered storage pocket on the left side, a slip storage pocket over on the right side. Once that quilted liner is removed for the nice hot summer riding days that we also enjoy, there are pockets that are the same basically on the left and right of the coat built into the liner of the coat itself. You also have zippered hand warmer style storage pockets, both right and left, for additional storage capabilities. Cooling. You know, cooling with a leather jacket is a big deal. Leather is always going to be warmer than the same mesh. There's no doubt about it. It wears a little heavier, it's thicker, you know, and you only want to perforate the stuff so much. You can't perforate it like mesh. So what they've done is they've put perforations in the key areas here in the abdomen. Your four-way stretch, that's going to flow air freely. And then you'll find stretch, or I'm sorry, you're going to find perforation in the underarm and then perforation in the back of the jacket as well. Plenty of cooling is built into this, right? This is going to work great for any hot summer riding, absolutely. All quality locking zips are used here in the sleeves. Nice heavy gauge main zipper. Full circumference zip to pants, right? This is an excellent piece of riding kit that sells at a very affordable price. If you like what you see so far, stay tuned for the second part. We're going to take this off, take it apart, and give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, Track Tech Evo 4 leather jacket inside out. This comes with CE Level 1 certified armor in the elbow forearm, in the shoulder, and an included CE Level 1 back protector. That's all in the jacket, so you have a good, complete package here, ready to ride when you get it out of the box. Removable quilted vest liner. This has two storage pockets built in. We've got a zippered pocket here on the left. We have a slip pocket over here on the right. The quality of this looks really nice, just like with the jacket. Shell of the jacket itself, we're using race-grade leather. Got a nice subtle race hump here, just like we see on the Track Deck Evo 4 or here the STG suit. Four-way stretch fabric there at the base of the neck. Localized perforation here, as well as down here. Large leather motion panel. You got a little motion panel down here at the waist with a volume adjuster, D-ring, leather, and Velcro. Localized perforation here in the underarm. Integrated shoulder protector. This works in conjunction with the shoulder armor underneath to really enhance impact and abrasion resistance in that area of the jacket. Large panel of leather used here in the impact zone. 
four-way stretch that also flows there, neoprene rolled cuff, locking zip. Front of the coat, we have zippered hand warmer style storage pockets here on both sides. Like this, we have the little product booklet. Look at all these pages they print. You know who reads that? Nobody reads that. We're gonna throw that out. Front of the coat, we have localized perf here and here, all the way down the center. Screen printed RST logos. Got a little leather flap down here to protect the tank of your bike from the zipper. Quality zip. Nice zipper pull. Get inside the jacket. Comfort line collar. Zippered storage pocket here. Left breast slip pocket over here on the right side, just like we saw with the removable liner. Here is your back protector storage pocket. You'll also note that the back protector storage pocket is made using a 3D spacer fabric. What this does, it has a pocket of air that lives and breathes between your body and the protector, so air can circulate through there. It just helps keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. Zip to pants attachment system. You wanna make a two-piece suit with those kick-ass RST TrackTech Evo 4 leather pants. You do that using this big zipper right here. To access the armor inside the coat in the elbow and forearm, there is a pocket just below that one. Zip it open, slide your hand up in there, and you get in there and do the things that need to be done. What do I think? You already know what I think. We import this stuff for a reason because it provides more value than anything else in our industry, bar none. You know, instead of going with a house brand, we went with a brand that has a lot of excellent history throughout the United Kingdom and throughout the world of producing quality goods that sell at a very affordable price. And we are super pumped to be bringing this stuff to you guys. If you have any questions, leave that in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself. I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next ride.